Hi guys, it's True here. Welcome to a video log. This is to just give you a quick update of some channel changes which are going to be coming up. Uh, apologies if the lighting goes funny on my camera. The lighting in this room is absolutely appalling. I've got a I've got an actual light on in this room and it's still dark as hell. I've had to turn the brightness settings well up on the camera and I'm gonna need to get a new light fixture anyway. That's you're not interested in my bloody DIY. Well, it won't be me doing it because I can't do anything like that. I'm fucking useless. But um yeah. It's gonna be a regular new video log on a Friday. And the first topic is gonna be just gonna be various topics of conversation and it's going to be including like channel updates, channel changes, general waffle of what's happening with the week. There's also going to be an update on what I've been playing that week as well. Yeah, I'm heavily involved in the Xbox achievement community on True Achievements and Xbox 360A as it used to be called. I can't remember what they've changed the name for now. And I think my lighting is going to spaz out again. Anyway, um, yeah, to the extent where I'm actually one of the top in the world for achievement hunting I think I'm in like the top 30 players in the world for achievements so I'm going to just have a it's not going to be a big focus because there's not a lot of people aren't interested in it but it's just going to be like a quick couple of minutes section of what I've been playing what score I've achieved that week and any notable achievements which were fun pain in the ass glitchy anything such as that so that's going to be one of the things that I'm going to incorporate into it. It's going to be like any, there's going to be video responses as well to other YouTubers, general gaming waffle as well, and that's pretty much it really. Some weeks it's going to be, some weeks it'll be brief, other weeks it'll be a lot more in depth, depending obviously what topics need to be discussed. But uh, first things first, first thing on the end of this week is channel changes and updates. Now that we're getting into the winter months, my illnesses are going to start playing up an awful lot worse. Anybody who's got joint problems will know that the cold weather wrecks havoc. I think the lighting's going funny again. No, it's not. Um, wrecks havoc with any joint problem, especially the back, which I have a displaced disc, which is not very comfortable. So the cold weather is going to start making that play up alarmingly and plus the sciatica is going to kick in as well over the winter months and anybody who's ever suffered from sciatica will know it's extremely painful. Basically one of the largest nerves, if not the largest nerve in your body, feeling like it's on fire and trying to rip its way out of your body. It, that's the best way I can describe it. It's not nice. So that's going to reduce the amount of time I'm able to record because when it happens I can't really, it's difficult trying to commentate on a video or speak or do anything really when you're battling that kind of discomfort and pain really with it. So I'm going to reduce the content output of the channel but still keep all the shows going. So here's the plan. Monday is going to be the nightmare video as per normal. Tuesday as per normal is going to be the True vs The World series where I take a record and it goes to Records website and set a new score or try to set a new score or, or set a new score for a new game that's not listed on his site already. Wednesday's Independence Day video is being moved to a semi-regular video which is going to be at the weekend but I'm going to discuss that later on when I get to the weekend. So Wednesday is going to be a blank day, no upload on a Wednesday. Thursday is going to be still my figure collections video that is proving usually popular getting the most views of anything. Not that I'm really that fussed about views to be honest with you because I do because I enjoy it but um, compared to all my other videos the, the figure videos do get an awful lot of views I think the recent Jason Voorhees one got about three, it's got 300 views and counting or approaching 300 views and counting which is mental really because for a small channel which has only been going for about four or five months now um, that's massive amount of views so yeah Thursday is going to be the figure video as per normal Friday is going to be the video you're watching now the vlog waffly kind of video. Saturday, the, the main Saturday video, which is going to be regular, is going to be the Tubers High Score Challenge. That's the Facebook page where we, a group of Facebook friends, challenge each other to a weekly game and see who gets the highest score. That's going to be the only regular video on a weekend. Now, Saturday was usually Sega Saturday and Sunday was normal Nintendo Sunday. They're still going to exist, but they're going to be on a semi-regular basis. Basically, as well as the Tubers High Score Challenge video, over the over the weekend, either on the Saturday or the Sunday, depending on what the video is, there's either going to be an Independence Day video, a Sega Saturday video, 
or a Nintendo Sunday video. Obviously, if it's a Sega or a Nintendo video, they'll be on the relevant days. Independence Day could be on either or the Saturday or the Sunday. Now, I'm hoping that the reduced amount of videos will allow me to put more effort into the videos that I am making and make them better. So, because I mean, some of the videos take a lot of time. The Nightmare one takes a bit of time to do. Because I obviously have to sync everything up with it to, to commentary. My lighting's going funny again. It's like I'm in a disco. It's, I don't know if you're picking up on camera, but it seems to be flickering different colours. Anyway. But yeah. Um, the amount of video takes a bit of time to do. The, obviously the high scores for the tubers and the true versus the world one take a bit of practice. Because I've got to practice the games, obviously, to try and attain the highest score as possible. So there's a lot of be behind the scenes work there. Which takes a lot of time up. And the figure video takes an enormous amount of time. <clears throat> Because I've got to set the I've got to set the light studio up, get the lighting correct. Um, then there's also the hands-on part of filming. There's the voice commentary over it, over the whole video. There's uh, musical tracks which I've got to sync up with the video as well. And there's also the narration of the introductory of the character and the character stills as well. And there's also the photography section at the end. So that takes up an enormous amount of time. The figure videos. So I'm hopefully going to be able to spend more time on those and get a better quality output on those as well. So yeah, I'm just hoping the new streamlined version of the channel will prove just as popular, or if not more popular. So that's that's that really. I'm going to do a ch uh, new channel preview thing, a preview video for new subscribers as well to reflect the changes because obviously the old one's not going to be relevant anymore. Thing I want to quickly discuss this week is the release schedule in the games. It's just mental this time of year as it is every year, but I just think they need to stop it. They need to pace the games out. Still, these publishers need to hold the games back and release them at a more sensible time because I mean, I'm just going to just quickly, quickly glance at my iPad here. This, this is just on the Xbox platform, so it's the 360 and the Xbox One. There's no total total of two, three, four. Fourteen games came out this week across the Xbox platforms. Fourteen games. That's both retail and digital download games. Fourteen games in one week. And when you take into account that games generally get released on a Tuesday for some if they trying to make a make it so I've noticed a bit more or a Friday 14 games over over that week alone it's just crazy I mean I'd like to play them all I like to play the majority of them as soon as I can but it's just somebody's gonna lose out sales wise if you're releasing that many games all in one go I mean that's just a, just this is probably the worst week I mean last week a load of games came out we've had Halo come out we've had Sunset Overdrive come out um, this week Far Cry, Far Cry 4, GTA 5, Dragon Age, three AAA titles all vying for your money and there's not many people going to be able to buy all of them so it's just I think they need to sort this scheduling business out some some of them need to come out, uh, schedule them to come out earlier in the summer drought months because I think it's all about standing out from the crowd and release yourself when release a game when there's no crowd to actually stand out from and you're going to get more sales I mean, it's like one of the titles on the 360 um, where is it? Escape, Escape Dead Island Dead Island spin-off actually looks quite reasonable but by no means it's AAA but you're going against three AAA juggernauts there in that week so surely that's going to suffer sales wise so if they'd held it back to maybe back in January after Christmas people are recovering after Christmas and everything and what a new game to play oh Dead Island's come out nothing else is out, oh we'll we'll, we'll buy that, you know what I mean, it's just, it's just crazy 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 anyway, uh, final thing, I just want you to put a discussion topic up there if you want to reply in the comments to this or even do a video response, that would be nice um, your gaming bad habits my f uh, can be either actually playing a game bad habit or just something generally related to video gaming so I'm gonna come up with a few of my own first one is um, buying games at release I 
I, I always tend to buy new games. I don't tend to buy second-hand ones for the, for the new machines, obviously. And this week, for example, is just a typical example of what I need to stop doing. And every year, I make a new res resolution to stop doing this: is buying the games when they first come out. I don't mind if one game comes out that week. That's not a problem. It's like this week. Far Cry came out on Tuesday. Excellent game, by the way, guys. Really loving it so far. Um, GTA 5 also came out on the same day as well. I want that as well, but um, also on the Friday, Dragon Age came out as well. And I can't, I can't really play them both both together. I mean, it's it's just it's like the last few last few weeks and months. That came out last week, not played it yet. That came out three weeks ago, not played it yet. It's still sealed actually. A few weeks ago, not played it yet. Same again, not played it yet. And that came out a couple of months back, not played it yet. And it's just, um, I need to stop buying them as soon as they come out. When I've, also, when I've already got something to keep myself occupied because by the time I get around to actually play the damn things they'll probably be about £10-£15 cheaper and I could save myself a bit of money so that's my bad habit number one bad habit number two is in any game that involves shooting where you're shooting a gun or any kind of weapon and everything I always have to have a full magazine don't matter if I find one single bullet from it I've got to reload my gun and um, after, the, after the fight obviously I'm not going to reload it in the middle of a fight if I don't have to but if I've cleared all the enemies in an area and even if there's only one bullet missing from the magazine I'll reload it. Uh, number three, a uh, similar kind of vein to the last one I always tend to like to use pistols or handguns in FPS's or third person games rather than the automatic weapons I just think it's something badass just walking around with a pistol capping everybody with a headshot just something a bit satisfying does that make me a mentalist or something? I don't know but <laughs> Um, yeah, I just like the handguns in games. It's like Doom, I always watch around with a handgun. GoldenEye, I always watch around with a handgun. Call of Duty, to an extent, walk around with handguns. I uh, just, just like handguns, basically. <laughs> and uh, lastly, is the OCD nature of exploring every nook and cranny of a game. I've always done this in video games. I've always um, explored every corner. If you've got an objective, I was saying, uh, go in, go that way. I'll go that way because you can guarantee there's something hidden or something you're supposed to find the opposite way. It's like when you're like you spawn into a new level. First, first golden rule of thumb: any game when you spawn into a level, turn around, have a look directly behind you, because on one of the levels there's going to be either some hidden health kits, ammunition, collectible something like that but yeah it's my OCD nature game I mean it took about like 20 minutes to clear one area when I could just simply walk through the damn thing because I'm looking at every single pot, pan, drawer, cupboard, locker you name it looking at every tree markings, secrets, looking for glowing things just do it all the time so yeah some of my bad video gaming habits so like I say, if you want to put yours in the comments or even do a video response, that would be most welcome. And I uh, hope you guys like the new schedule I'm going to propose to do and continue to watch. And thank you very much for watching and your support. Thank you.